Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Paula and you will find a lot, lot of beauty on this channel. So if that's your thing, I hope you stick around. And today I'm gonna to be sharing my favorite makeup items from 2020. It's been a tough year and I think this year I just bought loads of makeup because it's the only thing that was like keeping me happy, keeping me busy. And obviously it is part of my job as well. So I do get sent a few things, but it just was kind of fun to kind of play around with makeup. It was just something to do. And this year especially I felt it was like a lot of a lip launches and it was when everyone was wearing masks But it didn't stop me buying a lipstick of course So I'm gonna get straight right into my favorite items of makeup from 2020 and I'm gonna kick off with this from by Mario look at the state of this it is covered in makeup because white packaging guys it looks pretty but it gets covered in makeup fingers well it does for me anyway so this is the master eye prep and set from makeup by Mario so you will know him as Kim Kardashian's makeup artist and now he has his own makeup line and I was so excited for it because when a makeup artist brings out a makeup line it should be good and they know what they're doing and they want to create something that they are using and he was introducing his line all on Instagram showing all the products and showing how to use them like tutorial videos and I thought that was really helpful because a lot of times makeup comes out and you don't actually I mean it's obvious how to use some makeup but it's great to be able to pick up tips and this was the product that I thought just was really different and I did buy a few different things. It's basically an eyeshadow primer, but what I love about this is it's very creamy and it comes in two different shades. So I have the shade light, so it comes in light, medium and dark, so great for all different skin tones. And it, this one is slightly more pinky, this one is more sort of warm. So I actually like to mix the two together. So I apply that as a base before I put on my eyeshadow. So what I like to do is just take a brush like this and I'll just kind of dab it in each one and then just brush it on and it gives such a great light base for your eyes. So I always like to have a bit of a lighter eye primer. I just think it makes the eyeshadow pop more. And then I'll go in with a kind of nice loose brush like this with the powder and that is, I guess, to kind of set it but ultimately this is kind of how I always did my eyeshadow. So I'm in an eyeshadow palette, the like light colored eyeshadow like that is always done because that's what I go in with first and I kind of use that as kind of my base eyeshadow. And the reason I do that is just to kind of, again, lighten it up and just give it like a nice base to work with. And this is great as well, he says as well, for like creating mistakes, which is exactly what I did with the eyeshadow too. So I love that and I can just go in with that and kind of set it over it. And then you can obviously, like even today, like here, I can go in and sort of do like that and just sort of fix it up a little bit. And that's what I love about it. I just think this is such a great product. Like obviously eyeshadow primer is not new, but it's just a new way of doing it. And I like the different colors and I like the setting powder and the way it's very makeup artist put together. It's a nice compact with a mirror. So this was my favorite product. I also got the eyeshadow palette, which was nice. I like that. Um, I got the eyeliner, which was okay. It wasn't my favorite. I really wanted it for the brush on the end. I thought it was really cool. But yeah, that one wasn't my standout. And then I also bought the highlighter, which is a very jelly, creamy, glossy highlighter, which I love. I think that's very, very good. And those were the two items, really, the highlighter and that they kind of won me over and there's so many other things I think are great products that he brought out. They're not really for me that typical like day to day but I think if you are a makeup artist or you're really creative with makeup I think they're really good and I, I really liked it. So that was kind of my standout product from him and I use this every day now when I do my makeup so I love it. And as always, I will link every product in the description box and write them out for you guys so that you can go and check them out. Okay, my next product is, what am I gonna go with? Okay, let's go with this. This is the Fenty Beauty Lip Shine. Now I did a whole video review of these, so I'll link it and you can go and watch it because I do arm swatches and a lip swatch of every single color because Fenty very kindly sent me all of these. It's the first PR I've ever had from Fenty Beauty and the only PR, I've never, I haven't had anything else, but it was amazing just to get that. It was really, really cool. And it was something that I loved as well. So these are the Lip Shine lipsticks, as I was talking about lipstick reviews. They're kind of more like a lip balm, but the color payoff is amazing that it's more like a lipstick. They're just so like, 
beautiful and glossy and comfortable to wear and when we are maybe wearing a lot of lipstick because of the masks it's just something really nice it's actually really moisturizing for your lips and it's just delicious and all the colors I actually pretty much love them all which you see in the video but this is my favorite one this is number five glaze it's just like a kind of nude everyday color like you can even just wear this in the house like it's so nice and they're really good for summer I think they were launched at a great time for summer because that's what they're great for but they are so moisturizing like I said so in winter too so I even just put it on underneath my mask I don't know it just makes me feel good and if I do take it off then I still look pretty good without having like full-on lipstick and gloss on like I've got on now and then it going everywhere so I really love these I do love Fenty I've got another Fenty item next so this I bought and this is the brow MVP I actually have two of these because I started off with the ash brown and then I really liked that and I was like perfect color absolutely love it and then I was like mm, I think I want something a little bit just more a little bit darker a little bit more defined and I don't know whether that was just because my hair was getting darker at the time because obviously my roots were growing out and maybe I just wanted something to define my eyebrows a little bit more and especially as well when I wear foundation you just kind of need to draw it in a little bit more over the top so I went for light brown and I've got ash brown and I kind of use both until one runs out, I think I'll probably stick with the light brown. But yeah, it's a pencil crane on one side. Very fine, so easy to draw in little hairs and it lasts all day. It's amazing, it stays on. And then the other side is this cute little brush, which is just really easy for making them look really feathery and fluffy. And I really love this. I think it's so good. I like the combo even, even though like a darker tail and a lighter bit of the front. And they're pretty reasonable, I think, as well. So just loving them. I wanted to include an eyeshadow palette in this because I bought quite a few eyeshadow palettes in 2020. Um, and I couldn't pick one. So I've got two. <laughs> so this is a Natasha Denona Glam palette, which I featured in one of my like new in videos a little while ago. It's just beautiful. Like, I love Natasha Denona and her eyeshadows are amazing. They're just so, so good. The payoff's amazing. So many nice shimmers. I would say this is a very neutral palette. A lot of people said this is a cool tone palette, but I think it's neutral toned. Like, there are some, like, slightly warmer shades, but I just think it's quite neutral. Like, this gold here is quite warm. So, yeah. I love it. I just think it is a great palette, great colours, great sort of everyday, great... Just for me, actually love it so much. And then I also chose the Viseart palette. So Viseart was new to me this year. I'd never tried it before. Um, I decided to give it a try. I bought the Grand Pro palette and it was so good. So I bought this and it's very small. This is a spritz edit. I did a whole review of this, so we'll link this as well. This is super cute. Love the colours in this. I like this. This is such a summer palette. Like, I wouldn't wear this as much now, but the warm kind of reds and golds and everything. I just love this for summer, that with my Fenty lip. Love that. And again, the payoff's amazing. It's a very teeny tiny palette, but it's super cute. And I really like that. Now, a lot of the things in this video probably are very summer based because I think that's when I was like peak buying makeup. And I was like, it was between like April and July, I was like buying loads of stuff. I don't know why, it was just like what I was into at the time in lockdown. Okay, so the next item is something really, I absolutely love this, it's so beautiful. Um, and it's very, very expensive. And I did a whole review on this too, so I'll link all my reviews again below. But this is the Hermes. Hermes lipstick. I mean, you don't get any more bougie than that. This is like 58 quid or whatever it was. This is the color 36 Coral Flamingo. I've got a whole review of these on YouTube, but also on my blog too for really like close up pictures. So we'll link that too. This color is so beautiful. It stays on. It's very unlike lipstick I've ever used. And that's a big claim. It's just very light on the lips but the colour payoff is there and it just feels different and I think a lot of people may be confused by it and they might be sort of like it doesn't feel like a good lipstick because it's not like super creamy but it's the way it's meant to be it's very thin but it's colour payoff stays on it's just totally different and 
I love the bullets. They are basically made from the same hardware that the bags are made from. You also get a little sleeve with it and it also comes in the orange box as well. I have the VDL primer. So this isn't a new product but it's new to me and as you'll know I got really into K-beauty, Korean beauty in 2020, mainly skincare but I did try makeup too. Again I have another video where I did a full face of K-beauty, my first ever time trying Korean makeup so I'll link that below and the VDL primer was in that and I really loved it and then this version is just slightly more hydrating, a little bit more oils type of things in it and slightly different slightly different like colouring to it. Um, so this one's more bluey, this one's more golden. I feel like I tend to go for this one just because it's a little bit more hydrating for my skin type but I just love this. It gives your skin a complete glow, it makes my makeup stay on and I'd actually gone off primer for a while like I stopped actually really using it, just kind of using moisturiser and oil before I put makeup on and when I started using this again I was like oh, okay my makeup does go on really well now on top of this so love that. This is definitely my favourite kind of K-beauty makeup item. I'm going to be doing a Korean beauty skincare favourites video as well as this video because there was just so much skincare and basically most of it was all Korean so if you interested in getting some Korean skincare then look out for that video coming soon. So this is not new but new to me last year. This is the RCMA foundation and this is kind of like their pack of like the different colours. So I have the KO series. So they come in loads of different um, colours basically for different skin tones. So this one is more for my skin tone and you've got like going from very light. So you've got KO1, KO2, KO3, KO4 and then it jumps to KO7 so that's more of a contour. So you can kind of use it as like a highlight, concealer, foundation um, and contour basically. I kind of mainly got it to test out which colour I would be in the foundation. I saw a YouTuber use this foundation on YouTube, one of the American guys, and I was like, what the hell is this foundation? It looks amazing, I need to try it. And so the only place that sold it here in the UK was Beauty Bay, but they only sold it as like this. So they do sell it in like discs, single ones, which I have bought one of the K04 because it's about to run out. And I got that from Beautylish and they shipped to the UK. You do have to pay customs, but you can pay it up front. So it's not too bad. This was just amazing. I have it on now. It's such a really gorgeous finish for my kind of skin, which is dehydrated to normal or normal to dehydrated. It's just really good. It's kind of like kind of waxy feel to it. So I mean if you've got oily skin this is like probably not the, the foundation for you but like it makes your skin look like skin. It doesn't dry out, it doesn't come off by the end of the day like patches, it doesn't sink into your skin. It just looks so good and I'm kind of between this colour here, the KO3 and the KO4. I tend to go for the KO4 because I do wear tan on my face and my body, so it matches a little bit better. It can look quite dark when I put it on at first, but once I put like my concealer on and the rest of my makeup, it kind of ties in quite well. I kind of chop and change between the two, but I do feel like the KO3 is a little bit light, so you can obviously mix them together. And what I do is, I have this, I don't even know where I got this from, I think it's like a face mask. And so you need something like this and you kind of scoop it out, put it on the back of my hand, I rub, blend it in and then I take like a brush, my foundation brush and just put it on like that because you, this looks tiny. You need the tiniest bit and you spread it out because as I said it has that sort of like waxy feel, it's not like a liquid foundation. So this is a great way to try out your colours and work out what colour you are if you were wanting to try it and go for it and yeah absolutely love it definitely going to continue to use that as my foundation i still use my fenty foundation as well but i love that and then funnily enough i think it was the exact same video and this guy was using the kylie bronzer sticks i think that's actually how i found that foundation because i was looking for a review of these bronzer sticks and i think it was his video and then he was using the foundation i was like i need both of these so yeah this is a Kylie bronzer stick. Now Kylie Cosmetics started off so well and everyone was so interested in it and not gonna lie I was too and I had like eyeshadow palettes and the lip kits. Her lip kits were really cool. I mean she was like one of the first people to put like a kind of lip kit idea together. I mean even like MAC Cosmetics never did that. 
And I just think she gets a lot of stick and I think she's actually did really well with it and I think it's an amazing makeup line. A lot of people say it's similar to Colourpop. I don't really know because I don't really have Colourpop here in the UK. I have tried a couple of bits before but obviously not as much to tell the difference because it's made in the same factory that people say that it's the same and then the prices are dearer. So who really knows? I mean loads of makeup is made in the same factory. Like brands like L'Oreal, all their makeup's made in the same factory practically um, and they charge a different price point. So is what it is and I really love it. I still use the eyebrow gel and translucent powder. I think it's awesome and I really hope that they do the UK site. So they've got the UK site for Kylie Skin but not for Kylie Cosmetics. So I really hope they do that soon because Customs is really not fun and neither is the Royal Mail Charges. So this is the bronze medium bronzer stick with nice hair on it. Um, really really good I love to just do this on my like cheekbones like this and contour with it so easy I love that it's a really kind of neutral bronzy color um because basically I did a review um on my channel you might have seen it of the new Chanel cream bronzer and I really love the old version and they brought a newer version out which was slightly different it's slightly darker slightly oranger I'd say and I really had a funny smell. It's got coconut oil in it. A lot of people were worried that was gonna break them out. The time when I tried it in the video, I liked it and I thought it looked fine. But after I started to use it a bit more, I don't know if I was that sure. And I actually thought it started to break me out on my chin. I don't know if it was 100% that product, but I stopped using it and I haven't really had breakouts since then. But it could have been something else. It could have been anything. But I will keep trying it again. But I kind of just went off it when they changed it. And so I've been loving this instead, much cheaper. And funnily enough, talking about ColourPop, people say the ColourPop bronzer is in like a pan, like the Chanel, is like the Chanel, and it's better than the Chanel. So maybe we'll try that and we'll see how that one compares to you. But I absolutely love this. I think it's really good. And I've been using it loads. That was my favourite makeup products from 2020. I wonder if you've tried any of them. If you have, let me know in the comments if you've tried any. Or let me know what your favourite products are. I'm always looking to try new things. So it'd be great to hear from you what yours were. And I hope this next year is going to be some good things for us all because 2020 was not the year at all. And so I hope 2021 is going to be a good year for everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.